Hi, I'm Florian Van Amkoller. Hi, I'm Valerie Fibeda. Today we're going to teach you how to jump a pool ball. We're going to teach you the fundamentals and all the stuff that goes together, and Valerie is going to demonstrate how to do that. Let's talk about the equipment first. So I have my hands a normal plank cue, so you can see the length. Valerie is holding a normal jump cue. So this is my standard jump cue. So a jump cue is, is lighter, shorter. The wood in the shaft is also very hard. This is a hard maple here. And the tip has got to be very hard. In this case, we have a combination of a ferrule and tip that's like a G10. So it's a very hard material. The harder it is on the tip and the shaft itself, the easier it's going to jump. Now that we covered the equipment, let's talk about contact point. To get one thing out of the way right away is, in order to hit a proper jump shot, you do not need to go low on the cue ball. That means definitely not a scoop or anything like that. I'm gonna use the rail as an example here. Even if your cue ball is right here, you can still contact the cue ball and do a proper jump shot. So in this case, it's gonna be right above, slightly above the center. I'm gonna move it back so you can see it. Um, what I did is I set up a pretty easy shot here for Valerie, and she's gonna show you how to jump the cue ball over this into the one ball. So she's gonna hit just right there, right above the center. The proper jump shot technique. So that's a question I got a lot, and uh, I think there's another big misconception again here. Uh, most people think you have to hit it really hard, follow through all the way down the table, but it's actually entirely false. To me, a jump cue is an anti-pull shot. Think uh, a short, fast poke. You know, again, so I'm gonna use a reference to, uh, to Bruce Lee with the, the one-inch punch. It's really just a lot of power in a very short time, just like this. And you know, your physical ability shouldn't really matter because it's such an easy motion. As long as you have a quick release, you should be good. So this way works really good to our style. It works really good this way as well, like this. And of course, you know, if you're really trying to show off, one win, just like this as well. So that's to show you how easy it is to actually jump a ball. Okay, now that we covered the physics of the shot, let's talk about mechanics. So first we're gonna cover a standard jump shot. So open bridge, Val is gonna demonstrate. So strong left hand, open your finger, make sure it's very stable. Uh, obviously with the, this grip out there, what you gotta make sure is the wrist is also in line like this. So nothing like this, nothing like this. About 45 degree and she's pretty much dead on right there. Next solution is a dart style. So dart style, same open bridge, but you're gonna hold the cue in between the two fingers out there like she's having, actually quite perfect there. This is sort of a jump shot used when the balls are closer, or if you have a little difficulty jumping, this makes you just clear the ball pretty easy. Uh, if you have an issue when your fingers are not long enough or your hands are a little small, we can also do the floating uh, dart style, which is gonna demonstrate right now. So the key here is to cut your, put your elbow right on top of your hip and make sure it's pretty solid. And the only thing we might do in here is get a little wider there. The last thing I wanna talk about is your right foot. It always helps if you go a little bit wider because you get a little more stable than if you're a little bit too close like this. Let's cover some example now. I'm gonna divide them in three categories. The medium jump, because it's probably the easiest, the short jump, and the long jump shot. Let's start with the medium jump here, so the cue ball frozen to the rail. Uh, Valley is gonna hit just right above center, like we talked before, jump over, make the one ball. Short compact stroke, let's see what happened. Perfect, nailed it. So as you can see, this was a pretty decently easy shot, and uh, once you practice, it really is a lot easier than people think it is. Okay, we're now in a short jump shot situation. As you can see, the cue ball is pretty close to the nine ball, uh, much, much less than the diamond away. So this is a much tougher jump shot. What we're gonna try here is jump the cue ball over the nine into the one ball. So Valerie is gonna execute the shot again, uh, probably open bridge. She's gonna have to raise the angle though, so way more than 45 degrees, and go a little lower on the cue ball, but still not much. Important, short, fast poke. Perfect, great jump shot. Well done, Valerie. So Duke can say this is a little harder, but once you master it, it gets you out of a crazy situation as well. Okay, so now we set up a longer jump shot. So as it's more difficult, Florian will do it for you. Uh, one good advice we can give you today is uh, always aim fuller. 
Yeah, so you're gonna aim a little bit fuller on the one simply because the cue ball is gonna jump when he lands. So it's gonna jump always a little bit, which means it's gonna hit a higher point of contact on the object ball, which is gonna result in cutting the ball more left or right, depending which way he lands. So I always like to aim a little fuller. The next thing, because it's a long jump, the odds are also it's gonna be very difficult to land properly. So what I like to do is try to land as close as possible to the one ball, and if possible, even directly on it. Uh, next thing on the long jump shots, a little lower angle, so instead of 45, a little lower. Uh, and maybe, while it's still a you know, short, fast poke, it's maybe a little more push, a little more powerful. So it's slightly a different stroke, get some practice, but uh, you know, again, you know, a life-saving life -saving shot. So let's just try to jump over the nine ball here to the one ball. There you go, and that's you execute a long jump shot. Now, I also want to tell you one more thing about long jump shots, is we're going to go to another category of long jump shots that I execute with a break cue. Reason is, is because it's a little more uh, precise, and I like when there's a little more distance that you can really control your cue ball. Last jumping situation here, a really long jump shot. So past a certain point, you really don't want to use the jump cue to jump anymore because it gets kind of out of control. If you don't land straight on the ball, usually your ball is going to bounce and get out of the table, and that results in a ball in hand, which is not really what you want to do. But in this case, however, you know, if you look closely, you're not really jumping a full ball. So you can actually execute that with a simple break cue. So as long as it's got a phenolic uh, tip and a ferrule, and it's a good jump cue, it's a good break cue, you should have no problem jumping over half a ball. In this case here, we're just gonna jump the cue ball in between the nine and the two and try to make the one ball. The good thing is because the cue is longer, you're naturally gonna be more accurate and more precise in you know, your shot. And that's how you uh, do a long jump control. You don't take too much risk, the ball's not going too high, so you still have a lot of chance the ball stay on the table. A lot of accuracy, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this jump lessons. Thank you for watching. As usual, any question, please comment below. I'll try my best to answer. And for all your pool and billiard supplies, please check out pooldog.com, link in the description. See you guys.